This video is brought to you by Fundmates. More about them later in the video. If you're not using ChatGPT for your YouTube channel yet, you are missing out. From making better thumbnails, to writing better scripts, to content strategy, anything that you need to do for your YouTube channel, ChatGPT can help you level everything up. So I'm gonna give you instructions for what you need to do, and I'm gonna give you the prompts that you need in order to get the most out of ChatGPT for your YouTube channel. And we're starting right now. The very first one on the list that ChatGPT can help you with is your set design. When it comes to your set, you might be trying to think of ways that you can make it better. ChatGPT can help. For this, all you have to do is upload a photo or screenshot of your recording environment. And for the prompt, you wanna say, you are a YouTube studio design expert who understands visual storytelling, lighting, framing, set aesthetics, and viewer perception. I'm uploading a photo of my current YouTube setup. Please analyze the image and give me detailed feedback on how I can make my set look more professional, visually appealing, and on brand for a content creator making. And then right here is where you insert the type of videos that you make. And then you say, focus on things like lighting, framing and composition, depth and background elements, visual distractions or clutter, color contrast and mood, brand personality slash identity, and then you tell it to suggest improvements using things that I can adjust with minimal cost, like repositioning lights, adding depth with props for LED lighting, changing camera angles, etc. and note any high impact upgrades worth considering. Assume that this is for a solo creator who talks to the camera. Now, of course, if you don't talk to the camera, then of course you wouldn't add that part, but that'll give you the meat of that particular one so you can customize it to your liking based on the type of content that you make. Let's move on to the next one. Thumbnail feedback. The instructions for this one are to simply upload your thumbnail into ChatGPT. The prompt. Act as a YouTube thumbnail expert and tell me how I can make this thumbnail the most effective. The video is about, add your topic, and the target viewer is, add your target viewer. The title of the video is, add title, and it's a, add the format, video. When giving feedback, share anything you notice based on YouTube best practices for making thumbnails, but also look for the following things. Tell me what the main focus of the image is. Tell me if it's clear, text readability, how well the thumbnail and title do or do not work together, emotional impact of the thumbnail, the color of the thumbnail, composition, the type of person you think might click on this, and any additional things you think could be improved. Using this for your thumbnails is gonna help you identify things that you might not think about when it comes to making thumbnails. So just putting this in here by itself is going to help you get more clicks on your videos. And just so you know, I have a more advanced version of this in my app that I made for creators that I'll put down in the description. Next is developing a content strategy. Now, when it comes to content strategy on YouTube, a lot of content creators, especially new creators, they don't really think that much about the videos that they're gonna be publishing into the future they just think about the next video that they're gonna be publishing. This is gonna help you fix that so that you can increase the likelihood of people coming back to the channel and just becoming a part of what it is that you're doing. The instructions for this one is to make sure that you have some type of goal in place so that you can make sure that as a part of your content strategy that you're pointing it all in the direction of something that you're trying to achieve. The prompt. Act as an expert YouTube consultant. I need a content strategy for the next three months. My channel focuses on, insert your topic, and I can post X videos per week X shorts per week and do X live streams per week. My goals are, here you would add your goals. My audience is, here's where you would put the type of viewer that's watching your content or that you're targeting. Give me a three month plan broken down into content pillars, video types, and suggested titles, including a strategy for growth, engagement, and retention. Now, of course, you can modify that based on whatever type of content that you upload. For example, if you don't do shorts at all, then in that case, you wouldn't include that in that list. So you just wanna modify it based on whatever it is that you are doing with your channel and what it is that you're trying to accomplish. The next thing ChatGPT can help you with is creating a strong value proposition for your YouTube channel. So if you're publishing videos, but you don't really have a nice clear statement to say when somebody says, hey, what type of videos do you make for your YouTube channel? Then in that case, this one's gonna be really helpful for you. The prompt is, I wanna create a value proposition for my YouTube channel. I make videos about filling your topic and I wanna to attract whatever the audience type is that you're trying to attract. My style is, and then of course you can pick from this or add something else. Help me write a one to two sentence statement that tells new viewers what they'll get, why they should subscribe, and how I'm different from other channels. And this part right here is really important. Ask me any questions necessary in order to give you all of the information you need to make this as accurate and impactful as possible. 
Once you put this into ChatGPT, it's gonna start asking you some questions. When it asks you questions, just make sure that you answer it honestly based on what you're trying to do with the channel, and it will help you put together a nice, strong value proposition. So when somebody goes to your YouTube channel, they can easily understand what it is that you're doing. And if somebody ever asks you about your YouTube channel, you can let them know exactly what you're doing in one sentence. The next thing is it can help you come up with great and unique monetization ideas for your channel. The prompt for this one is, Act as a YouTube monetization expert. My channel is about whatever the topic is. I get around X views per video and my audience is mostly, and then fill in the age range in the interest of the audience. Help me come up with proven new and realistic ways to monetize my channel. Ask me questions to learn about my niche audience and the type of content that I create. Then based on my answers, suggest specific monetization ideas for channel memberships and perks that my viewers might want, affiliate products or services that would be a good fit for my audience, provide links if possible personal products or digital items I could sell, such as merch, courses, templates, etc. sponsorship opportunities and possible brand partnerships you recommend, and any other creative or less common ways to earn revenue on my channel with my type of content. After giving suggestions, provide actionable next steps for getting started with each monetization idea you recommend. Now with this one, when ChatGPT starts giving you information back, ask yourself, okay, is this something that I know how to do? If the answer to that is no, then you can ask ChatGPT, what do I need in order to be able to do this? For example, if one of the things that it recommends is to have you set up a newsletter, if you don't know anything involved in that, ask. Say, I've never set up a newsletter before. Could you explain to me step-by-step step how I can set up a newsletter? And in addition to the step-by-step, step, also let me know some reputable services that I can use and general price points for those services. When you add that type of additional information and you start having the conversation, it can really open up a lot of additional information for you to help ensure that you're gonna be able to do the things that it recommends. And speaking of money, before we move on, today's sponsor, Fundmates, provides growth capital and tools to help you grow your channel. They're a service for more established creators who are looking for funding that doesn't come with any long-term commitments. And the best part is, they don't license or own your catalog like all the other services do, so your growth and success remain yours. Along with funding, you get a team to help you scale your channel. From video editors to thumbnail designers and more, they help you fill the gaps that you might have in your workflows and processes to help you reach your goals faster. Fundmates is used by successful channels like Counting Countries, Teaching Men's Fashion, Maya Graves, Craft Computing, Life with Royalty, and more creators that trust Fundmates to help drive their growth. To find out more about Fundmates and what they have to offer, go to fundmates.com. Okay, so the next thing that ChatGPT can help you with is helping you write better titles for your videos because we all know how important writing a good title is. For this, the prompt is, act as a YouTube title expert and professional copywriter. Write 10 YouTube titles that work for, here you can specify the traffic source if you want, or if you're going for search and recommendations, you can include both. Then say, my video is about, and put the video topic, my audience is, explain your target viewer, and give me 10 clickable under 60 character titles that are emotionally appealing, but still keyword rich. This part right here is really important. Avoid colons, M dashes or semicolons unless absolutely necessary. Make each one spark curiosity or emotion. Now, with this one, if you are not worried about search at all and you're just going for recommendations, then you wanna make sure that you don't put the search information in there about the keywords, but instead use this. Please make them appeal to the broadest audience within my viewer type. And with each recommendation, give me an idea of what I can make for the thumbnail design to ensure my video is easily identifiable for my target viewer and that the thumbnail works well with the title. With this, of course, you can adjust the character limit if you want, I'm just going with best practices here, but if you wanted to make it longer to completely fill up the title box, you can, it's just not recommended. And when it comes to the different pages of YouTube and mobile devices and things like that, sometimes titles get cut off. So because of that, that 52 to 60 character range is kind of where you wanna be, just to make sure that your titles don't get cut off everywhere so they're easy to read and easy to understand, regardless of where somebody sees them. Next, ChatGPT can help you improve the hooks or beginning of your videos. For this, the instructions are, make sure that you go ahead and have your intro or hook written out so that it can get additional context for what it is you're trying to say. And then you wanna make sure that you upload your thumbnail for the video and that you go ahead and insert your title for the video as well. Once you do those things, then here's the prompt that you wanna use. Act as an expert YouTube script writer and help me write a better hook for my YouTube video. I've uploaded my thumbnail and my title is, and then you wanna paste your title here. My current intro is, and then here you wanna paste your intro. Rewrite it to be more attention grabbing, curiosity building, or emotionally compelling. My tone is, and then here you can put your tone if it's casual, professional, funny, et cetera. And my target viewer is, and then you wanna describe your target viewer. 
When rewriting the hook, make sure to consider the thumbnail I uploaded and my title and the expectation they might create for the viewer so we can meet their expectations as they start watching the video. Now, the whole idea with this one is to just get that direct feedback from the beginning of your videos and look for things that you might be overlooking when it comes to the beginning of your videos and hooking the viewers that you're trying to reach. Okay, so for those of you that are always trying to get more engagement on your videos, you're like, man, how can I get people to comment, things like that? This prompt is for you. Act as a YouTube engagement expert. I want viewers to comment more. My video is about, fill in the topic of the video, and my audience is, describe the type of viewer that you're trying to reach, Give me five good questions I can ask in the video or comments that are easy to answer. Help people share their opinion or trigger discussion. Include some that are preference-based and some that are experience-based. And then you wanna add, so I have options. Give me some for comments, some for likes, and some to encourage viewers to subscribe so I can use the ones that I think are best. Now this next one is script feedback. When it comes to getting feedback on your scripts, you wanna make sure that you have a script ready and that you drop it into ChatGPT. And then what this is gonna do is this is going to help look through your script and give you advice based on the principles that I'm getting ready to share with you in this prompt. The prompt is act as an expert YouTube script writer, editor, and retention strategist who understands viewer psychology and storytelling. Please review this script and give me detailed feedback focused on. Hook effectiveness, is it attention grabbing? Does it create curiosity, open loops, or unexpected statements? Pacing and flow, are there any slow or repetitive scenarios that could cause viewers to drop off? Retention psychology, identify opportunities to add pattern interrupts, open loops, curiosity gaps, emotional triggers, and internal cliffhangers. Transitions, are transitions smooth and do they keep the momentum going between sections? Clarity and simplicity, are the ideas easy to understand and conversational in tone? Calls to action, are they placed at the right moments and do they feel natural and valuable to the viewer? Viewer engagement, suggest ways to naturally prompt likes, comments, or interaction without sounding forced. And then put, here's the script, and then paste your script. Personally, I found this really insightful in videos because sometimes we have the way that we do things and just getting that feedback on everything it is that we're doing can be really helpful because like I've mentioned a few times throughout this video, it just kind of helps you see some blind spots and some things that you might not have been thinking about. And then the next one, which can be huge for your videos and for your YouTube channel in general, because giving a satisfactory experience to the people that are watching your videos is gonna be the thing that's gonna help your videos do the best. This one is about audience retention. The instructions for this one are to take a screenshot of your audience retention report and make sure that you include the timestamps down at the bottom. And then you also want to copy your transcripts with the timestamps attached. Take both of those and put them into ChatGPT and then use this prompt. Act as a YouTube content strategist and audience retention expert. I've uploaded a transcript of a YouTube video and summary of the video's audience retention report. Your job is to analyze both to identify what parts of the video led to audience drop-offs and why, based on the transcript and timing, which segments retain viewers well and what likely contributed to that, where psychological retention techniques like open loops, pattern interrupts, pacing, humor, suspense, emotional triggers, or viewer anticipation were used successfully or could have been used or used better. Identify specific suggestions for improving hooks, pacing, clarity, or engagement in sections that caused viewer loss. If there are any confusing off-topic or weak moments in the transcript that may explain dips in retention, let me know about those. Identify opportunities where better calls to actions or storytelling could have helped the video. And of course, depending on the content that you make, look for general story structures and let me know what was or was not effective or how I could have applied them. Please structure your response with these sections. Overview of the retention patterns. Timestamped drop-off analysis include transcript snippets and possible psychological or content-based reasons for each dip what's working well, including retention techniques used, actionable suggestions for improvement, and final takeaways. Brief, high-packed insights to apply to future videos. Now, using all of these things together is gonna teach you a ton about making videos, it's gonna teach you a ton about YouTube, it's gonna teach you a lot of the foundational principles that you need to know as it applies to the content that you make to help you do better on YouTube. Now, in addition to this information, if you wanna take your channel to the next level, click into this video right here. It's gonna share a ton of information with you about the proper way to do things when it comes to YouTube. Go ahead and click into that now and I'll see you over the next video. Thank you so much for watching.